everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to half double crochet and we're going to make this little square together. And what you'll need for this is some yarn. I'm using worsted weight yarn from We Crochet and a crochet hook. I'm using a 5 millimeter crochet hook for this project. You'll need a yarn needle for sewing in your tails at the end and some scissors for trimming it up. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so to start off, we're going to make a chain of 12, and you can make however many chains you want. I'm just making 12 for just to show the little sample. So to start this off, you're going to make a slip knot, just like this, and put your loop on your hook, and then chain however many you would like to. I'm going to be doing 12. It's so 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there are the twelve chains. And so next we're gonna find the third chain from our hook. So that's one, two, three, and that's the chain space that we're gonna be working on to start our half double crochets. And to start the half double crochet, what you're gonna do so you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that third chain space, you're going to yarn over again and pull up a loop. So now you should have three loops on your hook, just like this, and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all three of those loops on your hook. And you can see those three loops and it forms three little bars. So now you're going to go into the chain space right beside that one and do the same thing. So that's yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. So now you should have three loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So then you should only have one loop left on your hook, just like that. Then working into the chain space next to that one, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, so it's three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three of those loops on your hook, just like that. And you can make your base chain row as long as you want. You can make a blanket with it, a scarf, a washcloth, a little square, whatever you like. This is a very versatile stitch, and you can do so many different things with it. Alright, so let's continue. So you're going to work into that next chain space. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three of those loops on your hook until you have just one. Alright, so continuing that to the end. So it's yarning over, insert your hook into the chain, pull up a loop, so you have three, Yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Alright, and so we're going to do it again. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And you just want to continue this to the end of your row. And for however many of chains you created on your base chain row, you should have two less stitches. So since I made 12 chains in the beginning, I should have 10 stitches on this first row. And I'll show you how to count those. So you don't count with this one. You start with this little chain looking space here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's how you can keep track and make sure it's squared off at the edges so you make sure on every single row you have the same amount of stitches so it doesn't get all wonky. Alright, so now that we're at the end of our row, we worked into that last chain space and it sometimes gets a little gappy and you can just pull this tail to tighten that up. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosely chain one, just like that, and then you're going to turn your work over. And so now we're going to be working into these spaces here, just like that space. Alright, so 
you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook right into that first space beside your chain one. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And you're going to do that again, yarning over, insert your hook, yarning over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. You're just going to continue this all the way down until the end of your row. So that's yarning over, inserting your hook, yarning over, pulling up a loop, yarning over and pulling through all three. So you're just going to keep working that all the way to the end. So when you get to your last stitch here, it can be a little strange looking. You might not know exactly where to go. So I'm going to show you. So right here, you see a little gap there. You want to make sure you, you're inserting your hook under both of these bars here for your last stitch on your row. You don't want to go into this here because that is your, your chains from the first round. All right, so just like normal, you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook, making sure to go under both of those bars into that stitch, yarning over, pulling up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So we have a nice little rectangle going here. And you can count your stitches again to make sure you still have the same amount. So that's, you count this here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have the same amount, so I'm doing good. Keeping it all even and nice and neat. And so we're going to change to the next row. So remember that's a loose chain one. If you make it too tight, then it can cause it to bow or scrunch up, and that's not something we want if we're making a blanket or a scarf or anything like that. All right, so then you're going to half double crochet into that same stitch. So yarning over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, just like we've been doing. All right, and I'm going to do a few more rows just like that. And then I'll meet you at the end of the little square and I'll show you how to tie off everything. All right, so I'm at the end of my little square here. I'm just gonna work this last stitch. So remember, you go under both bars. Make sure it's not that little edge chain space. Yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. All right. And you can count to make sure you have your 10 stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And just remember, you're going to have two less than your starting chain. So whatever number you decided on for that, make sure you have two less stitches. All right. And to finish off, you're going to chain one. And you're going to use your hook and pull some yarn out. You're going to take your scissors, you're going to cut your yarn, and with your chain still there, you're going to just pull the yarn through just like that and pull it to tighten it. So then it's finished off and it won't unravel. And now we're going to sew in these tails so that everything stays nice and secure and nothing comes apart. So you're going to take your yarn needle. and you're going to sew it in to your project. So you're just gonna go under all the loops and the bumps until it's nice and secure. My rule of thumb is to make the yarn go in three different directions because there's never gonna be a time when your project, if it's a blanket or a scarf, is going to be pulled in three different directions at one time. All right, and once you feel like it's nice and secure, you're just gonna take it and snip it right off, just like that. And if you don't have a yarn needle, an alternative method 
is to use your crochet hook, kind of wiggle it under these bars and just loop it through and just pull it all the way through just like that and just keep doing that around everywhere until it goes away. Okay, I hope this tutorial was super helpful for you and you were able to learn something new or refresh your skills. And definitely let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials that you'd like to see. And be sure to give it a big thumbs up if this was helpful. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.